and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. I'm really excited to um, share her with you and um, show you all the all the things that I did with this one. Um, you'll find all the details like size and pages and all that down below because I want to just concentrate on showing you how I made this cover, what I did, and a few other um, elements inside. So I hope you don't mind. If you want to know all those other stats, then just look down below, please. Okay. All right. Um, on this cover, which I, I made, I, the base of which is 120 pound cardstock, I made cut two pieces to size and at the spine, I joined them together like that so that it's double thick here on, you know, on the on the outside of the spine, uh, on the outside of the cover. I'm talking just about outside now because I'm going to tell you what I did on the inside to layer that. Um, on top of that, I keep wanting to lift it up, but I know that puts it so close to the camera. Anyway, on top of that, I took a piece of teal taffeta and this vintage, um, I think it's vintage curtain or a sheer, but it's it's the rougher kind of sheer that's got a pattern to it. Anyway, and what I did is I layered several layers of lace. Here's some lavender, and then there's some white. They're all scalloped edged white, and um, it's got some embroidered pink on it. And then on this side, just on the back side, I put some of this white lace to, or cream lace to finish it off, and it's vintage. On the front, it's the same pattern up to here, but then I put on this cream, um, and it is embroidered. I'll bring it close enough that I hope you can see that it's embroidered. I think this is vintage, but I don't know for sure. It's certainly intricate. Um, that's put down on it. <clears throat> I also uh, put a, a little bit of a scalloped edge of blue along here because I just thought it would be pretty. Um, Okay, after I did all that and got it all in place, then I took this piece of muslin and the, uh, another rectangle of um, the taffeta, and I machine stitched all the way around it with a really pretty delicate leaf pattern. Um, then I sewed uh, two sets of three French knots in the pink embroidery floss. Um, I glued that on and then put this last piece on because it covers over part of it. Then I took this focal image. I glued the scallop lace all the way around it uh, on the back so that it would be like a frame to it. Then um, this, these pieces here are appliques that have both, well, I think they have gems, but maybe it's all sequins. I'll change my listing. Yeah, I guess it's all sequins. I was thinking there were gems there too. Anyway, I colored them with my Copic markers long before I even got to this part because I I was playing around one day and I was wanting to match what I could of her, of her um, top and the kit itself that I used. And the kit I used is called Quilted Garden. It's from uh, Screech Owl Studios. And I also added my new vintage sewing ephemera kit that I created. So that's all in here. Um, okay, so I got that all done. I think that's it. I put in the um, the eyelets and added some, some pretty hand-dyed um, seam binding. Um, on the inside, then, of what I had just done... I opened it up, laid it flat, and I glued down some crushed uh, tulle. It's kind of whitish crushed tulle. And um, I'll take you inside so I can explain it better. And so it's, I believe, that's what I did. It's been so long. No, actually, I think I, I glued the tulle to the inside of the, uh, to the, to the back side of this piece that I covered it with. Okay. Then I laid down, 
um, Tyvek that comes clear out to here on both sides and covers the whole spine and up over to some of the pages. Then I put on 110 pound printed cardstock. That's what's on the inside and outside. Then I put down this beautiful cream lace. It's so beautiful. It's wide and or actually I doubled it so that it would be sturdy. If it isn't sturdy, I don't know what is now. Now, one other element that I wanted to show you. Uh, it took me a couple of nights to do this and my husband took great pleasure in watching me do all this while we were watching TV. Um, I took this, this lace, this fringe and I colored each element with my Copic markers to also bring in some of the color from the kit. So that was fun. That took me a couple of evenings, but it was fun. I hadn't done anything that extensive before. So now let me show you the journal. I'm sorry if this is long, um, but I really wanted you to know how this was created and how I create all my journals. I always use Tyvek in my journals, no matter what kind of a journal cover I'm making. I want people to know that. Okay, I will list all the kinds of paper I used and all that down below as well. There's the first page. I didn't put a pocket here. I didn't want to cover up all this pretty paper. Okay, here's a belly band that I created from one of the elements in the kit. I put some lace here. There's an envelope. It's printed on vellum. And inside, if I can get it, okay, there we go, is an image that I printed on Red River canvas. And then I covered with tea dyed papers. Um, also in the envelope is a one of the part of one of the pages from the kit and it's a new embroidery book and so it's got embroidery stitches in it which are it's very pretty so you can do some journaling on that as well I'll lay that there and move on um, in my ephemera kit that I created the so vintage sewing ephemera I gave you some little word or some sentiments and so I've I've cut them out and inked them up and put them in different places through here. And it says, when life gives you scraps, make a quilt. There's some parchment paper that I, that I printed on, and I did some stenciling at various places throughout. Here's a little element I created. Um, this book belongs to. And um, so I, I dressed it all up with bling to make that a pretty, and I also used Wink Estella and added some sequins at the neck. And there's a paper clip, all of the paper clips I used some of this lace on it. And then on this side, it this opens up so that you can journal in there as well. And there are um, all of the, all of the, well, almost all, that set I didn't do because that was part of the kit, but on all of my ephemera pieces that I, that from my kit, I did print the lines that I give you with the kit on the back. So you'll have some lined, some lined images to, to, to journal on. I'll leave that there. And then I did add two kinds of lace. I believe this is vintage lace here. This is a more modern. There's some stamping. My favorite um, doilies. This is a um, vellum piece from the kit. This is as well, um, from the kit. This pocket is from the kit, and I embellished it with Wink of Stella, and then I hand um, gathered some of my hand tie hand dyed um, seam binding and just put it on there here's a page from the kit or a piece from the kit and a tag from the kit and this is from my my kit I will list all the kits down at the bottom of under the show me show more part okay here's um, a lined page and you can see how when I tea dyed it um, the lines ran and I really liked that look I wanted to mention also I'll mention it down below but I want to explain it I dyed the pages with um, black uh, tea that oh it smells so yummy it has herbs and spices in it and so it smells really yummy and I've kept 
the pages and the book in a plastic bag sealed for the entire time I've been working on it, when I'm not working on it, so that it will retain that. This is an image from my kit, and this is, is as well. And then I just love this little element that, that Yvonne and added. It's so cute. N don't needle the seamstress. And she created this little element. And, and oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to staple it in. But it will be stapled or hand sewn in. And so I put all kinds of snippets of tea dyed papers in here and parchment. Is, no, I think it's just tea dyed. Okay, so those will be stapled or sewn in. Forgot about it. I'll set it aside so I'll remember. There's another one of my sayings, uh, uh, sentiments. Fil uh, sewing fills my days, not to mention the living room, bedroom, and closets, if that isn't the truth. This is a parchment piece that I printed on. Just a corner element here. There's some digital. Um, no, this isn't digital. This is actual grid paper. Here's the center of the first signature. A beautiful lace element here that I made into a pocket. Um, this is from the kit, from Yvonne's kit. This postcard. The and this is from Yvonne's kit. Got some st embroidery stitches there. And then these. I uh, see. This is from her kit. I just added buttons. And this is from my kit. Over here we have a side pocket, and in it I put this lovely lady from my kit, my sewing kit, and this one is from my sewing kit as well. And then this envelope is from Yvonne's kit, and in it one of these, and this is from my kit. So can always tell which ones are my kit because they're lined, like I said. And this is printed on um, oh, Southworth. No, um, I can't think of the name. I'll put it down below. But it's it's a lightweight cardstock because I really like the texture of it. And um, yeah, it's. I'll try to remember to list that. If I don't, you can ask, and remind me. Okay, there's some more grid. There's another element that I printed onto this parchment paper, and there's a stamp. Okay, here's a, a special element that I, I did. Um, I took some pieces of, of fabric and, um, and made a quilt, made this tiny quilt. Then I added snippets of lace and um, applique and then I made this little yo-yo and put a vintage um, this is a vintage button I did some French knots in several places and I did some running stitches with French knots did this and some slow stitching over here I just just did a lot of little doodads on it inside this little pocket which is an envelope really I put some lace for you and it's actually some of it some of this lace I think I used in the kit I think this is one of them and on the edge of this little this envelope has a hole punched in it with a grommet or a eyelet and so I put these scissors and a pearl on a bulb pin okay so there's that this is from my journal kit, and it's fussy cut out and glued there. More vellum. That's from my kit, I think. Oh, gosh, yeah, I think so. This is a Tim Holtz. I can't ever remember what he calls it, but it's it holds little pieces of ephemera. I stamped it with Be Authentic. There's this and that. And the butterfly and so it holds a lot of little tiny pieces of ephemera these two are from Yvonne's kit and this is from mine I believe I can tell you I know they all are yes they all are okay and I'm just gonna set them there 
I did some stamping. You can see I got some nice patterns with the two dying. All right, here's another pocket that um, I put in here and fussy cut out from a page, added some of the um, hand uh, gathered seam binding. There's some images. There's a tag from the kit, and these are from my ephemera kit. Again, used a page from the, or a piece of a page from the, from Yvonne's kit, and I added, she delights in working with her hands. And this is all just printed on this parchment stamping. That's the end of the first signature and the beginning of the second signature. She looks familiar, does she not? So you can see I took her from uh, one of the beautiful pages. And this is where, this was what inspired me to do this. Okay. Here's a pocket from the kit, and I put some lace here. Here's another spool from the kit with some real lace on it. This is this is from her kit, Yvonne's kit, and these are from my kit. I feel really out of it today. I'm sorry. I haven't felt, felt great for the last two days, and I think it's just change in weather here on the Oregon coast. It's gotten colder and damper, and that's always harder on this old body. Anyway, I did more Wink of Stella on a lot of the pockets and things that are made with cardstock, and I did some stamping. There's another I was sewing when sewing wasn't cool. There's a, the, one of the snippets, like I just showed you, from and that I printed on the parchment. Here's a, a belly band that I created, and I put this little label that Yvonne had in her kit with this tall tag, and there's a bulb pen with a button. It's a... A charm button and then that just slides back down in there and I added lace on the edge you can open it up and hope is never lost and you have room to journal on this paper is uh, the dotted for for like journaling um, rhodia paper there's another one of my sayings on line paper I won't read them all to you and take that time there's that beautiful page that I love on vellum there's another page from the kit. It's such a beautiful kit, so inspiring. There I did some more um, Wink of Stella on this snippet of a page that I printed out on cardstock. This is from my kit. This is from Yvonne's kit, and this is from Yvonne's kit. Aren't they beautiful? She just threaded those colors all the way through the kit so that it was just pretty. And there's... Um, uh, I mean, it's a very beautiful kit. There's another lace spool with lace on it. Some more lace. Now, this is vintage lace as far as I'm, as I know. I bought it. I buy my lace and then I sort it by color and um, size. And so this is in with everything else. And as far and it's a tip in. But it's very vintage looking if it isn't vintage. Also, the lace along here. I believe is vintage and then there's just a little applique for some more color I added that in digitally there's a card here with a, a um, paper clip and it's it opens I'm not going to take it all the way off but here's some more pieces from my kit and then I filled a template with this in my software program and then um, made a little dress to go in here. Over here, I took a p part of a page and sized it to what I needed it to be and cut it out. I printed it on um, Red River Canvas and then, I think, yeah, I think so, and then um, backed this piece a little bit more so that it would be sturdier. Then this is a vellum um, envelope and inside there's a postcard from Yvonne's kit. And then this is a piece of her kit that I cut out, and it has a definition of what a quilter and quilting is. And then on the back is tea dyed paper. And this is printed on Red River um, canvas, or either linen or canvas, I don't know. I don't remember. 
This is just printed on parchment. And here's another little dress that I made. Um, and it's laying on top of a glassine bag. And um, I fussied this all up. I was so thrilled when I, I, I filled this. Well, when I printed, when I, in my software program, when I made the page that I wanted to print in vellum, I save them. I, say, I always save them in case I decide to do this kit again. And so when I wanted to fill this dress in my software program, I pulled that piece up and the dividing line came perfectly down the middle so it gave her a lace collar. You can see it's got some pretty lace on the edges of the sleeves. And then it just laid so beautifully. I was just flabbergasted how it came out. I, of course, added... I think it's two layers of, no, three layers of lace here. And um, the little appliques. And the charm on here, on this one, is a sewing machine. This is a thimble from my kit. Isn't the kit beautiful? And there's the page I'm talking about, the one that I love. And this is from my kit, and I fussy cut it out and put it on there. Here's another um, from my kit, and with a, uh, I stamped here, do what you love, added lace onto the paper clip, and here's a small envelope from the kit, and it's got, or smaller, a card, a couple of cards. This one's from Yvonne's kit, that one's from mine. Just slide right back in there, and then this goes here, and this goes back over here as well from my kid as well. I just love that one. Of looks like Big Sister sewing, sewing. He he looks like he took a, a spill because he ripped everything up. So she's sewing him back together. Um, on this side of the page is an an envelope that I coffee or tea dyed. No, this one's coffee dyed. And then I embossed. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Hopefully you can. Then I added the lace, some more of my hand-gathered tool, or not tool, seam binding, and some a little applique or a little element. And so on the side with the flap, I decided to make a tuck. So I extended lace, a ribbon over here to this lace. I layered the lace on here. Then I put one of the ladies that I printed on Red River um, linen, I think it was, and then I backed it with tea dyed papers. That just slides down in there. And then here's another bobbin with some beautiful white lace on it. Yeah. So there. And then this is the last page of the journal and the back of the book. Uh, if you've stuck around this long, I'm thank you for that. Um, Please, um, if you have any questions at all about this journal, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'd be happy to answer it. Um, if you have any other comments, I'd love to hear from you. Give uh, the if you'll give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'm sorry I'm stumbling all over myself. My mouth is dry, and I'm like I said, I'm just not feeling top notch today. So, God bless your day. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. And stop by again. I hope to have another journal ready to show you quicker than I did this one. Bye now.